Hey, everybody. Thanks so much for being part of the accountability group for the 12 week year. Um, so I'm going to give you some tips before we get started. One is for those of you who are starting in August, I would I would just print out some sort of calendaring for yourself to be able to monitor it. Um, some of you will finish right here in, in November. So you'll want these You'll want these as just a way to check off. Our goal for the 12 week accountability group is that you've got 30 minutes every Sunday that you can check in, land down, talk about your things. And we do have opportunities for you to meet outside of class, outside of just the accountability group. We have this, we have these videos and you have a really unique group of people um, that the signups are going really well. And the book itself has lots of things that make people kind of cause for pause. So um, the largest pause that people have um, happens to be around page 80 in the book when we start looking at our long-term vision. And that long-term vision, right, is, is a really big deal. So if you are stuck there, don't worry. Uh, you've got this whole time to kind of get it done. So if you don't have your top three goals that are attached to this bigger vision, the bigger vision, um, it just sort of evolves. And in, um, so my great wisdom for you in that is there's a section in here where you start off, um, if you're feeling blocked on possibility, like what's the possible life that you can have, that what if situation is really helpful. It, so if you're feeling a little stuck on your big vision, then I would start off with the what if questions. Uh, what if what if I could make $10,000 in the next 12 months? I mean, in the next 12 weeks, right? What if I could do this? And that what if, um, I love that as a free write. I love that as kind of challenging. And it really does a good job at opening the door to possibility. And um they give you some tools in the book, but it's really what I find for myself in the what if, because I had to do it too, uh, especially for those of you who have achieved a ton of things. Um, and this group is packed with people who have done a lot of stuff in their life. So you're already living a really great life. So it's not like you have real basic dreams to build anymore. Now they're more complex because, right, because you've been doing the work. Uh, so in a prosperity mindset, it, you have already done a lot of prosperous things. So if you're getting trouble on what is my new goal, what is my big vision, it's harder because you're more complex. So you're more complex. So not only does it have to add up spiritually, uh, intellectually, financially, um, but it has to add up. I have a little list here, intellectually, emotionally, socially. Um, financially, professionally, right? So it has to add up on all these different layers. So if you're wondering why it's hard to build a big vision, well, it's because you're a lot more complex than you used to be. So when you're thinking about that big vision, it's going to come in there. Don't panic. It will come during that 12-week process on its own. So I would just revisit it. Um, when you're thinking about the why of that and you're not sure where to go, the what if. So if you're looking at your goals, I would start out with the what if. What, well, what if I could get that done in 12 weeks? What if I could finish my book? What if I could lose 10 pounds? What if I could do this? Um, and, and, start, and that helps you in the bigger part of the, and these came for you, right, are the downloads of the why, right? Why is this goal important to me? For those of you who have done other classes with me, um, that learned about the second brain or mis and plus, um, right? Things in place. Um, it's also understanding you'll, you'll be layering some of these concepts that we've gotten before. For those of you who have done, I'm looking for them here at my desk, um, but the uh, note card conversation of how do you put your goals and stuff on note cards and work on your projects that way. For those of you who have worked on other executive leadership conversations around time management, around blocking your 30s, around using um, the projects in the note cards, mise en place, right, things in place, doing your background tasks first, um, and now this, 
you're going to see a layering. So for those of you who have been through the other sessions with me, you're going to see um, superpower califragilistic. You're going to see a lot of opportunity for you because you get to now use the other blocks of knowledge on top of this. So it will be great, especially for those who did the values work, you can bring that forward as well. So if you are someone who is new to um, all of the classes that I've been teaching and you're watching these people do superstar stuff, it's because they've had these other building blocks. So don't panic. Um, you'll be that too one day. It just is. So our goal in this 12 week period, I will do it again. Um, I will host a morning and an evening class after the new year. Um, I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff so that everybody can have a bunch of stuff loaded in before the year ends. That's the fun of it because we like new stuff and we like to have cool stuff. Um, and then I'll do one in the beginning of the year so we can kind of get get on schedule. Um, but this is something that I would make a couple copies of. Um, it's going to give you a scorecard for the week. That's what you're going to be reporting on. I personally don't like this tiny little spot. Um, the scorecard is just a way for you to check off. Did I do these tactics? Uh, let me pull this off so it's a little easier to read. Um, but again, you get this weekly scorecard right here are the tactics that you're going to use and you're just checking them off. Did you get them done? Um, this is just too tiny for me. That's why I always encourage you to use a bigger conversation on these, um, just a bigger sheet. So you can use whatever you want, but that's what you're doing. You have the scorecards for each week. This for you is also the tool that you'll want to be able to have that piece in your mind of I'm achieving. And you don't have to have 100% achievement. For Many of you are superstars. Many of you are not just high achievers, you're overachievers. So, you know, it is to say just, if you can just keep at it for the full 12 weeks and keep checking off 70 to 80 percent of your days you're doing great so um, there's also this part that i really do appreciate and it's the weekly reflection um, do not skip this part um, if you are not liking journaling this will be your um this will be the one that when we ask you this question in group that you'll be like yeah i didn't like that reflection or i'm not doing it you want to do the reflection because chances are you'll do this again. So people who have done values work with me often come back to do values work when they've grown after 36 months or after five years, and then again, after seven years, that we see your values really evolve. What you want out of the reflections is to be able to come back to them when you do this the second round or the third round. Um, and that's also why I made it super affordable is that, you know, each group is different because everybody has different timelines. But um, as we've learned from the other group that I host that has now been here for 20 years, um, NW2, Network Equals Net Worth, um, that group, it has drop-in, people come for times and then they come back and so forth. Um, same with, um, same with um, the other class that people come in and out of that I haven't offered since a while, I better get that done, um, which is monetary identity. The reason that people come and take that class again is because you evolve, you get you get different. And the same will be for this group as well, is that you just get smarter. So the goal is to figure out the why, where I see people get stuck in the book is really at big vision. Do not panic. Um, that big vision will evolve itself over the 12 weeks. So if, just get what you can and then really start edging at that with that what if statements, because you want to open up the possibility field so that you kind of go, hmm, what if, what if I could get, you know, this thing done? And it, it just frees up the blockage. And what happens is, is that as we do this for the first 12 weeks, you get, you get some peace. We're going to give a break and then we're going to come back 
and you get to come decide if you want to take the effort to do another 12 week. You can do anything for 12 weeks. So if you're worried that this is going to be too hard or I'm not going to stay on it, don't worry. You can do anything for 12 weeks. And your chances are much higher because you're in a group and you're showing up. And um, you don't have to show out. You just have to show up. And there are other groups. So we have a group that starts in October. We have another group that's in September. And then when we've come into the new year, you guys will all mix together. So it won't always be the same people in the same group. And that's, I think, kind of fun. So you'll get different people um, and different um, experiences. And you'll also get people who are brand, brand new at this kind of concept. And then you'll also have people who are a little more um, familiar with, with time planning practices. So you'll have people that have been through multiple layers of classes with me that have um, really a lot of stackable knowledge that you can also go back and get um, with, you know, with, with other classes that I teach. So um, I'm super excited to hang out with you. And the 12 week is powerful. I'm doing it at the same time you are. Um, this is my first round on this as well. So we get to be smarter together. Uh, for me, as, as someone who trains with a lot of executive leadership teams, this is, um, from a business standpoint, it's, it's, it's what you need to do traction. So if you guys are doing traction models, this is what you need to be able to do traction. Do not pick more than three things. If you are brand new at this, you can start with just one. Do not do more than three. You can do five at a time, but you really don't want to. Uh, it, it, it just dilutes and it makes it exhausting, especially if you pick big things. So just pick three. That is enough. If you are just picking one and you're just starting out, that's a safe place to start and that's okay. So just let your group members know, I'm starting out. I don't have a lot of building blocks here. This is new to me. I'm going to start with one and really try to come out of this um, feeling successful and, um, and, and really find things that are measurable. Uh, you can't get, be, you, you, you're going to get challenged from your other teammates because we'll be putting in our goals into the chat box. So make sure you really have three. Um, and they're going to be helping you reword that. So we will be chat boxing like crazy when we are in group together, because it's a chance for you to check in. How did you do? But you're also going to be putting stuff into the chat box. Our chat box feed will be cray cray. Um, and please, 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 please use the Facebook page because every single thing that you are learning, somebody else needs to learn mm -hmm. right here. So when you're learning something, I am sure I need to learn that too. So if you're putting it in for no one else other than me, that's great. Um, but I guarantee you, um, you know, there's, there's 40 of you in the next two months. So, you know, all of you need to know that. So um, it's good. I hope you get done. You don't have to, you don't have to have, um, you don't have to have it perfect. This can evolve. And we'll, when we get about halfway, we'll be asking that question. Are these even the right three things for you to be focusing on? Um, and what I've learned from other people who are doing this group, because I've hung out with other people who hosted groups like this, um, is a lot of you get halfway through and go, meh, meh. and uh, about a third of you will actually achieve whatever goal you have ahead of schedule because you're just excited. And that's fun. Um, but that's not the norm for everybody. So uh, I will see you soon. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, I'll see you in class. Bye.